Hey YouTube, good old Luke here again, out here in the shop. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of stick welding. Uh, stick welding is called stick welding because of the use of stick electrodes in the welding process. This is a 7018 1 8 inch stick electrode. So why stick welding? Stick welding is great for use around the home and farm. You can weld outdoors. It's portable. It's relatively low cost compared to other forms of welding. Now remember, welding can be very dangerous. Always use the right safety equipment. And never weld on a motorcycle frame, a roll cage, or a trailer hitch, or any critical component until you've had the training and experience to do so. But welding's also fun. If you like working with your hands, you're going to love welding. Let's get started. The first step is to clean all the rust and paint away from the area to be welded. Alright, now that we've got our pieces all cleaned up, we're going to check our fit up. And we just want to make sure we don't have any significant gaps in the weld area. I've cut a bit of a small V-channel groove down the center of the weld area. That's going to give that welding rod a lot more base metal to penetrate and result in a good strong weld. Welding is a lot like woodworking in that you can't just glue two pieces of wood together and expect a good result. You've got to have a nice tight fit up to get a good strong weld. This is the first thing you need to learn to be able to stick weld is how to properly strike an arc and how to maintain that arc throughout the course of the weld. So to strike the arc you're going to tap the electrode on the metal. If you hold it there it's going to stick. You don't want it to stick. We're going to strike the metal, move the electrode across the metal, and right to the point of our weld we're going to hold the electrode off the metal approximately the same thickness as the metal electrode itself. So for a 1 8 inch electrode that's going to be approximately 1 8 of an inch. If we hold it too far above the metal we're going to see that arc jump back and forth. If we go too close we may actually burn through the base metal. Okay once we've got our arc struck the next step is going to be to form the puddle. To do that we're just going to stir the electrode around in a bit of a circular motion until we get a nice round even looking puddle. Just as nice pretty little puddle as you can make. We struck the arc. We've made our puddle. Now we're going to begin moving the electrode down the joint and we want our travel speed to maintain the integrity of the puddle all the way down the joint. If we're traveling too fast the puddle is either going to look triangular or oval shaped and if we're traveling too slow we may begin just eating up the base metal on the sides of the weld puddle. But we want that weld puddle to stay round all the way down the joint so that's going to tell us if our travel speed is correct if we can see that puddle moving nicely down the seam of the joint. When we get to the end of our joint we are going to hold the electrode for just slightly longer allow a little extra metal to build up at the end of the joint and then we're going to pull off. Okay, to recap, we're going to strike the arc, we're going to form the weld puddle, we're going to pull the puddle down the seam of the joint, all the way to the end, maintaining a nice consistent speed, 
and a nice round weld puddle. We're going to pause for just a second at the end and we're going to pull off. Alright YouTube, we've got everything ready to go to weld out this joint. We've got our base metal clamp down to the table. We've got our wire brush, slag hammer, stinger electrode with our welding rod ready to go, welding gloves, helmet, ground clamp attached to the table. As far as the settings on the welder, most of your welders are going to have a little cheater chart on top and we can look up the 7018 electrode, one eighth of an inch, and find our amperage range. We're going to use the low side, which is 110 amps, DC. Welder set to DC, 110 amps. All right, YouTube, here we go. Let's have some fun. Okay, YouTube, we've got the joint welded up. We're going to chip off the slag and see what we got. Well, that's about it, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this video. I sure had fun making it. Thanks for watching.